Hey gang, I'm out in the shop today. I'm on my cell phone, so uh, I've got to move around a little bit for this particular uh, project. I've got this little band saw that I just converted over to a metal saw, metal cutting saw, and um, it's pretty simple. I used a bunch of step pulleys, used the original motor, and uh, just slowed it down to where it wouldn't burn the blade up whenever I was cutting aluminum. But in doing so, when I did the video, a friend of mine out in California, uh, Charlie Gabaldon, he commented and said he had the same bandsaw. He uses it for wood, and it keeps throwing the blade off. Well, it's actually pretty easy to track the blades on these things, so I thought I'd come out here and take the cover off of it. Um, there's the cover over here. And um, show you guys how to track the blade on it so that it doesn't come off. And it's actually not very hard at all. Uh, it just requires a flathead screwdriver. And what you want to do... When you get your blade on there, stay clear of the blade, don't get hurt, don't cut yourself or anything, but this wheel, this top wheel is a driven wheel. The bottom wheel is the drive wheel. So what you want to do, you'll take your flathead screwdriver on this little piece right here. Turn it on and um, you'll go left and right and what you're doing is you're tilting the wheel uh, fore and aft if you will. And what that does, that aligns the blade to the center of the driven wheel. Now, another problem he may have that I had whenever I converted this over, uh, the bottom pulley, the driving pulley. <coughs> so, the driving pulley was already preset to whatever factory was. Well, whenever I put the metal cutting blade on it, I had to center that blade on this pulley. So, that was pretty simple. All I did was took an Allen wrench here, loosened that up and was able to move it in just enough to where the uh, bandsaw blade lines up with both pulleys. Now if your bearings are bad here on the bottom, if these bearings are bad or loose or whatever, you're never going to get a, a band to stay on it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure these bearings are good and, good and tight and accurate. Uh, and then like I said, you'll come up here to the top pulley and um, Tighten your, tighten your band up to where it's, it's tight, not too tight, but tight. And then, like I said, you'll just turn it on and use the screwdriver, turn left and right, and that will tilt the blade, or tilt the wheel so that the blade stays center. Some other adjustments on this thing. Um, you've got this little apparatus right here, and what this does, this moves the uh, bearings in and out and you want to be right there touching the bearings on your blade. There's the bearing there, and you can see how my blade is right on that bearing. And then the same as goes for these little wear pups right here. There's a little Allen wrench in the back. You can loosen it up and squeeze together on the blade. Not too tight, just barely touching, and that'll help keep the alignment straight on the top side. The bottom side's also the same way. It's exactly the same way. Um, and this particular bandsaw, there was a lot of rust and a lot of corrosion. Everything was kind of froze up. So the first thing I had to do was loosen all this stuff up to where it would move. And then um, luckily the bearings were all good, so I reused the same bearings. 